I'm Thomas. I run my own business. I've been quite successful. I paid tax for my whole adult life. I vote. I engage with charity regularly. I'm involved with the society that embraces me, possibly because I'm still alive. Let me take you back to before I was really me. I was just 18 years old. I had never been around another gay person. I had suffered with my mental health in secret. Nobody knew that I was gay and therefore nobody knew that everything about me was a front. I worked nearby and would walk past the Queen Shillin each day after work three or four times backwards and forth past the front doors hoping to get a glimpse inside without being noticed. Then, one day, the friendly security was stood outside and said hello. Later I discovered he had noticed me passing unusually often. I picked up the courage the very next day to go inside. I didn't know what I was going to find out about myself. I don't mean my sexuality, I knew that I was gay by then, but I mean, who was I? Could I be confident about myself? Would I be able to make friends if I wasn't lying about almost everything? The community in these venues on Frogmore Street probably saved my life. Without the support from the friends I met there, in a safe environment, I don't know what would have happened. Drinking nightclub culture is more than just people getting drunk and leery, like many media outlets would have us believe. There's friendships art, dancing, legal and safe ways to let off steam with others after a hard week at work. Education about safe sex is everywhere. Kind, caring individuals who look out for each other. When I walked into the Queen Shilling, I knew I'd found a home for the first time. These venues need support if they're going to continue to stop people like me needing mental health services or even an early funeral. I'd like to say thank you to the Queen Shilling community.